Farm log, start date 2020-0323, March the 23rd. Um, this has been going, I don't know, since, uh, what was it? Martin Luther King Day, I think I started it. And a couple of these peas are still going. We've been getting a couple of flowers per week. Uh, this guy had a couple of peas. We, I mean, the kid ate them over the weekend. Uh, the one that was here... He dried out because I think the uh, the sprayer nozzles keep on getting clogged up even with the change to the hose. So, ooh, if I can do this without knocking the light. Um, I did a little change. We planted five peas in here. They are starting to root. And since those sprayers kept on getting clogged, went back to uh, capillary action. I took strips of a towel and put them into the bottom of the net pot and those lead down into the water and because of science the water soaks up and goes up into the net pot seems to be working all right those have been in there oh geez I think we planted those on March 15th they are rooting but they haven't popped up yet I'm a little worried that I planted them too deep because I, I thought they'd be up by now and then this one had dried out too, so just the other day I planted, I think, some radishes in there. And the cucumbers, they did not climb the wall like I was hoping they would. So, so much for the dream of having a leafy wall. But, these guys are starting to flower. There's a lot of male leaves on this one, I guess. Each plant will get male and female flowers. And only the females produce the fruit. And just this morning, I noticed on this little guy, the plant doesn't look too good. However, if you can see it, I'm not sure how blurry that is. It looks like there are um, cucumbers starting to grow on off of those female flowers. I didn't notice when they flowered, but what I've been doing was taking a Q-tip, since I don't have bees in my house, which I'm kind of glad I don't have bees in my house. But I've been pollinating my pollinating them myself just by taking the Q-tip, rubbing it on some male flowers, and then just kind of dabbing it here and there. Hopefully, I hit those female flowers over there that are starting to fruit. And another thing, I was and there's about three gallons of water in here, three or four. And I've been fertilizing with you know, a couple tablespoons of that, um, adding water every couple of weeks or so with a, a teaspoon or so of that. But I was just thinking I'm going to switch to the the Max Bloom, the other one, for when they start fruiting. I think I'm going to add a gallon of water with maybe a teaspoon of this in there. Uh, last summer I wound up burning a bunch of my plants because I over fertilized them so I'm trying to be more careful to not over fertilize this year but yeah, that is where we're at with the indoor hydroponics as of today